All right, today we are going to be looking at some projects that I've had, um, that I've saved from students in the past. Um, so that way you guys can kind of get an idea of what we're gonna be doing. This is gonna be called, um, this is just your two point perspective box project. Um, I used to call it the Treehouse Project, and I'm going to show you that project in uh, the next part. Um, but this is, your requirements are three things. You have to have one box on the horizon line, one box above the horizon line, and one box below the horizon line. But what you do with that is really up to you. I want you guys to choose something that you're interested in for this. Um, take a look at these projects here in just a second, and then we'll talk more about the project in a minute. So this is a few project examples that I've had from students in the past. Um, what I want you guys to focus on whenever you are doing your project um, is find something that interests you. So this person um, likes going on vacation to the beach. So they did a beach theme. Um, they have a whole beach house here. And you can see that there's their box on the horizon line on the horizon line all these boxes are stacked above the horizon line and then there's their boxes below the horizon line um and you and they actually have the horizon line drawn out um this one they did a fireplace they just thought it would look look cool it turns out really neat so their vanishing points are actually in the corners of their pages so if you look here it's in the top right corner and the bottom left corner and that just allows them to kind of skew their project at an angle um, this right here this big one the treehouse that was actually the original name of this project it was called the treehouse project um, and like i said your only objectives that you have to have is that you have to have a box on above and below the horizon line so there's their box on they have two boxes above and two below and they put theirs into a tree and then they uh they erase their vanishing points later and just drew a little um, horizon line down here at the bottom so they could uh, ground their tree. Here's a few more. Um, I do this one project with students sometimes that involves a lot of patterns. And so this, uh, these students decided to use the patterns that they made and add them onto their boxes and around their pages. So this person went crazy and have, uh, and has checks and stripes and Chevron and all kinds of stuff going on on their page but one of the goals is also to fill your page so don't have white space on there unless it's intentional um, this another thing that i like is like i said pick a theme um, pick something that you're into that you can um, have fun with with this project so this person did a whole food theme so every side of their boxes is different or uh, different foods and then this one is all um, pets. So every single one of these boxes is some kind of like dog house or famous dog, or they used um, some of their own family pets too. All right, this one, they decided to do a, um, it's the moose, the moose palace. So there's their moose up there. And then it's got all the boxes requirements. So on, above, below your horizon line. Um, and then they decorated the entire page. And then this one is the longest something for the roller coaster. Oh, longest wait for the roller coaster. Um, and they did their boxes on, above, and below the horizon line. People along those boxes waiting in line to get on this roller coaster. And then in the background, they did all of the different um, roller coaster parts. Turned out really, really good. Okay, so those were just a few of the many project examples that I have from students from the past. What I want you guys to do this weekend, and today and this weekend, is figure out what your topic is gonna be. It can be anything, I've had things like space and spaceships, I've had um, Roblox and Minecraft, I've had Fortnite. I had a girl that loved pink, so hers was all things that were pink themed. Um, I've had unicorn themes. Uh, pick something that you're into, okay? Star Wars. Um, think about something that you like, something that you'd like to spend time on, because we're gonna start the project today, okay? Just start it in your sketchbook, set up your vanishing points, 
And remember your requirements are three boxes, one on the horizon line, one above the horizon line, and one below the horizon line. Everything else is up to you. That's just minimum. You guys can do as many boxes as you want. There's no uh, maximum amount, okay? Choose a theme, three minimum boxes, Go ahead and start it in your sketchbook. I'm, I'm going to start mine right now, and um, I will post some stuff on Instagram and on Twitter, and I'll try to post some stuff on Canvas as well so you guys can see some updates. Um, but go ahead, and, go ahead and get started. Work on this today. Um, if you want to work on it over the weekend, you can do that too. And I will talk to you guys again on Monday. Have a great weekend. See you guys.